Hey everybody, Captain Murphy here from Salty Sea Dogs Games. Today we're going to take a look at the Pirate Brig asset. This is based on our HMS Ontario hull design, and it is an 80-foot brig. This one is a little bit modified, so the hull itself has been opened up. Now, it's still a 22-gun brig, so it's still got a lot of guns on it. Uh, these are about 6-pound guns. They're not huge, but they're definitely going to do some damage. And now, the, uh, the waist on this one has been opened up, so there's a lot more room to move around on it. Um, so you have these little ladders on each side, and towards the stern, there is a holder right back here. That's where you could put your spare spars, and on top of that, you could stack a longboat. On the aft deck, we've got a new hatchway going down and a skylight. And instead of using a tiller, we've got a wheel on this one. So the tiller would have been down inside of the uh, lower deck. Uh, so still we got the six pound guns. Uh, we've changed the skins on them a little bit. So they've got a little bit different color scheme than the British ones. Now the aft section here no longer has the big large gallery on it like the British ships had. This has uh, got these a little more narrow, a little more uh, uh, trimmed up stern on this one. So it's a little cleaner look. Uh, the sails are all translucent, just like as before, and you can see I've got some logos on these. Uh, all these sails come with a logo capability, so they can show a logo on the fronts. I just happened to pick a skull and crossbones to show for this one. And so I'm going to go ahead and cover some of the features on this one. Uh, now all the textures are 4K, and they are PBR, so they are ready to go out of the box for a, a PBR setup. The helm on this one, being that it uses the... Uh, this wheel rather than the tiller. When you turn this one, the wheel turns a certain number of spokes for every one of the degrees, and you can set that in the ship scripting. The lighting on this one lights up all of the gallery, lights up the skylight, lights up the binnacle, and lights up this lower deck lights as well. So if you're going to run the uh, vessel at night, you can turn the lights on. The guns are already pre-wired, and just like in the Ontario, these are set by a dynamic script. So when the ship starts off, there are no guns placed. You just place a prefab in the gun position, and it'll place them uh, aligned with the correct direction. They automatically tie into the direction that they're facing. So if you have a gun that is assigned to the port block, it gets tied into the port gun collection. So the script comes preset so that you can call any one of the collections and create the particles. And all it does is it has a simple script that runs through the guns and, you know, creates the particle using a, a quickie timeout. Now the uh, sails on this one are similar to the Ontario's. Uh, it's a brig setup. So everything, all the lines kind of run from mainmast to foremast. It's got a gaff setup on the stern. Uh, the angle of the yards can be adjusted. And so you can send this is all exposed publicly. So if you want to use our script, you can, you know, just use our original script and uh, call for a certain angle and the yards will set a certain speed to get there. The running rigging on this going from yard to yard, these braces going from the yard to the mast, and then these lines here, these lifts that bring the yards up and down, and these sail um, sheets and tacks. So we've got sheets here and, and uh, tacks and clues at the bottom. Then those there are also dynamic as well. So if we go from having full sail and then go to a no sail condition, notice that the yards drop, which is historically accurate, and that the lines follow along. Now these are all done dynamically, uh, and they only redraw if the yards are in motion or the speed has been changed and has yet to be met again. So again, uh, all this is done through scripting, so it uh, saves that call when it's not needed. Uh, it's got three sets of sails, which is your sail settings. Uh, each one of these yards has attached to it a sail object, which is what does all of the work as far as setting and uh, furling the sails. And then the speed here adjusts how much on the axes that it scales for wind. So you can have no wind or you can have you know nice heavy wind. And again, those lines that are on there will follow it along. Uh, so that's, that's just kind of a quick overview of the Pirate Brig. Uh, remember to stop by SaltySeaDogs.net for more information or get a hold of us on the Asset Store. Thanks.